I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. So uh, Bishop uh, Lamar Whitehead, who is a cut buddy of uh, Mayor Pharaoh Eric Adams, was found guilty yesterday here in New York in federal court in the Southern District, too, by the way. I think it was Southern District. Um, of, uh, of fraud, uh, extortion. Now, this is Eric Adams. The, these two boys been friends. You know, this reminds me of uh, Al Sharpton and Barack Obama and T.D. Jakes and Puff Daddy. Uh, you know, there's something wrong with what's going on with, with the Hamite men these days. I'm going to get to it. Uh, and y'all crazy people need to stop fighting me. But that boy there with the sunglasses on with his arms around uh, uh, Pharaoh Eric Adams was found guilty yesterday, and I'll read you what, what happened. <clears throat> the so-called bling bishop is now guilty, the guilty bishop. Bishop Lamar White had known for owning multiple pricey Bentley automobiles, his flashy suits and jewelry, some of which was stolen in a non-infamous and live stream ro robbery, has been convicted, now infamous live stream, I'm sorry, now what was it, what, live, how, how do you do that? How do you steal clothing and jewelry? Anyway, he has been convicted on a number of charges, including stealing the life savings of a parishioner's mother and attempting to extort a businessman to fund his extravagant lifestyle. This boy lives in a $4 million house, he drives a you know, $600,000 Bentley. Anyway, jurors found Whitehead, who's 46 years old, guilty on all charges in Manhattan Federal Court Monday, including multiple counts of fraud, extortion, and lying, according to court records. The story isn't over, however. It's just a new chapter Whitehead posted on social media Tuesday morning. Stay tuned. God is still God. Hey, what? Uh, come on now. You need to keep God's mouth, uh, name out your mouth, boy. You, you need to, I, otherwise I'm going to, anyway. So is he out on bail or something? Uh, let's read a little bit more of that. The White House lawyer, Don Florio, told the Daily News that they will be appealing. The, well, everybody appeals. Uh, the trial began the 26th of February. February included testimony from the single mother. He swindled $90,000 from her entire life savings by convincing her he could help her own her own home despite her poor credit. And, quote, I trusted him, close quote. The mother and nurse, Pauline Anderson, testified February 27th the Daily News reported, quote, he said he had real estate experience. He was a man of God. He prayed for me in earnest. I believe in God, so I believe he would honestly help me to get this house, close quote. The trial showed evidence that Bishop instead used the funds for more bling, including designer clothes, a BMW, and other indulgences, according to the prosecutors. Feds also contended that Whitehead promised a Bronx businessman that for $500,000 he could use his close ties to Mayor Eric Adams to help grease the wheels on a suppressed, supposed real estate investment they uh, would then embark on together, federal prosecutors said. Adams, who was not accused of any wrongdoings in the case, was referred to euphemistically by Whitehead uh, in repeated communications presented during the trial. Quote, I'll take it from there. I'll deal with the city council. I'll deal with the assembly over there. I'll deal with the mayor's office. But he got a, but we got to have ownership. I got to be able to say, yo, yo. <laughs> uh, uh, nickname for the official, I, I own this, this is what is going on, close quote, White, Whitehead told uh, Belmonte. 
in text messages sent over, uh, sent around the 22nd of May, May 2022, Whitehead repeatedly uh, pleased Belmonte uh, to wire him, uh, repeatedly pressed Belmonte, pardon me, uh, Belmonte to wire him $500,000 saying that the money was urgently needed because the meeting had, quote, the meeting had been sent, set for Friday with the officials and we're still struggling to get things done. What are, what are we really doing, close quote? At any rate, this guy's a fraud for way back then. Uh, I mean, I mean the, the guy, he's, he spent a stint in prison before and he took over with Eric Adams. Eric Adams, he became, Eric Adams became a member of his church. And Eric Adams said, well, you know, he's gone straight now. Well, Eric, I, you know, I was convicted back in 1970-something, 75, 76, there in Brooklyn. Uh, and I've been walking straight for 43 years now. You want to come up and be my friend, too? Here, this, this is, this, this is, the underlying problem of Eric Adams having three of his close, uh, if you will, financial aides, I think they were in charge of campaign financing. One out in Brooklyn, a young woman, 24 years old, her house got raided going back a couple of months ago. And, uh, and two others, a financial campaign aides, got raided last week up in the Bronx. Their house got raided. Six o'clock in the morning, the FBI knocked on their door. So Eric Adams in a lot of trouble. Plus, Eric Adams' car got stopped, I think, in November. In midtown Manhattan, the FBI stopped Eric Adams' entourage, told his, uh, his security guard, because he's the mayor of New York City, I call him Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh Adams, told the mayor's entourage of security to stand down. FBI went into his SUV, took his phone, took his, his, his iPad, and other stuff. So this boy's in trouble. And he's in trouble because uh, Bishop Whitehead uh, is spilled a tea on him. Bishop Whitehead, I, you know, I believe this, I could be wrong. If I am, I'll apologize for it, maybe. Uh, that Bishop Whitehead and Eric Adams are homosexual lovers. Now, a lot of people don't think there's anything wrong with homosexuals having, you know, affairs. You know, but Bishop Whitehead is married, you know. He's the pastor of a church, and he's a homosexual. Uh, and I think he and Eric Adams have been getting it on. And when he got busted on this wire fraud, he ripped this old woman off for $90,000. This lying dog ripped this old woman off for nine, nine who's a member of his church, took $90,000 from her, told her he was going to buy her house with $90,000. Then he ripped this other guy off for $500,000, told me he was going to set up a business deal and going to get Mayor Eric Adams to approve it. So $600,000 right there amid some other stuff. Then it was reported also that that robbery that took place at his church where he said he lost over a million dollars in jewelry, that was an actual event. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I believe Eric Adams used to be a part of the New York City Police Department before he became, what do you call it, a uh, politician. I believe that one of the robbers that, uh, there were two of them, I think, that came in that day, that I think somebody whacked one of them, and the other one confessed that it was a real robbery uh, when the heat came down. Because the, the main thing here is that Eric Adams is in a whole lot of trouble because of this boy, Bishop Whitehead. And one of the reasons why Bishop Whitehead is singing that God is still in control, which is a lie. Yeah, he's in control, control of your, boy, your butt going to jail. Here's a man, got only 15 members in his church riding around in a $600,000 Bentley because uh, he'd been scamming money. He, of all his life. Here, so here's the problem. If Eric Adams had never hooked up with this boy, he probably wouldn't be, he probably wouldn't be mayor Eric Adams because this boy, Whitehead, probably told Eric Adams how to scam people, how to, you know, how to extort people. And, 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 and there you have it. So now Eric Adams, will, Eric Adams will be going to jail. You can, you can, you can put, you can take that to the bank. And Bishop Whitehead would be going to jail as well. Maybe there'd be jailbirds in the same cell, and it couldn't happen to two nice of fellows, quite frankly, to tell you the truth. I can't wait to get Eric Adams on the stand when I do my trial in the Southern District. You don't have to bring him up out of the jailhouse, have him testify why. When I stood down there in front of City Hall, on the steps of City Hall, with all our school children, and asked him and begged him for help to save our property from being auctioned off by the Mellon Bank, he wouldn't come out and ask us 
uh, what be the matter? So I want to ask him that question. Do I have to be a homosexual before anybody decides to help me? Is that what it is? By the way, you know, I don't hate homosexuals. I don't. I've homosexuals been a part of our church. <laughs> You've been around a church, you're going to be around homosexuals. I can tell you that right now. We've never denied one an opportunity to be a member. We've never denied one an opportunity to participate in our church. But when I stood there in front of uh, City Hall that day and asked Eric Adams to help us with all our school children, he wouldn't do it. So uh, good enough that you're going to go to jail, boy. Good enough. But I don't hate homosexuals. I do. We've dedicated our courtyard to one of the homosexuals that, uh, that came through our church. I named him Remnant Williams. I'm not a hater of uh, people, but we just can't, they can't practice that lifestyle while they're here. All right, everybody, you're listening to the Manning Report. And I'm Manning, just in case you didn't know. I'm the Lord's servant, and don't you forget it. <laughs>